President Biden set to meet with Vladimir Putin tomorrow in Geneva. It's the final stop on Biden's first official overseas trip. And all those allies he met with on this tour have a stake in how this last meeting goes. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott joins us live now from Geneva with the latest. Rachel, what's the latest on how this summit is expected to go down tomorrow? Well, we heard from a Russian official. They're expecting this to play out over four to five hours. So here it is how it's going to work. The two leaders are going to come face to face in two separate meetings. One is going to be a smaller meeting. We're told that there will be about four people in the room. That includes obviously President Biden, Russian President Vladimir Putin, as well as two senior advisors on both sides. We're told that the Secretary of State, for instance, will be in that meeting. And then they're expected to break, come back for a larger working meeting. That's going to include uh, more officials, more senior officials on both sides of the aisle here. After the whole thing is said and done, we will see both leaders hold a press conference. Unlike the last time around with former President Donald Trump, we will not see a joint press conference. President Biden is going to come out and take questions after President Putin. President Putin is going to go first with that press conference, taking questions, but again, a very stark contrast to what we saw unfold with former President Donald Trump when the two were standing side by side and former President Donald Trump uh, openly went against the U.S. intelligence about Russian meddling, Diane. And, and Rachel, Biden, we heard him there. He says he's ready. How has he been preparing? Yeah. Yeah, we know that the president has been knee deep in preps. We know that the White House has assembled a team of experts on Russia. He's been meeting with his senior advisors, getting briefed on Russia every single day in the lead up to this meeting. He says that he is ready. And in a lot of ways, President Biden says this is what he does best. Foreign policy for him has always been paramount. It's always been key. He has a lot of experience with it over the course of his political career, not only in the Senate, but of course, as vice president. President. And this will not be the first time that these two leaders come face to face. Of course, they met back in 2011. President Biden then said that he looked into his eyes and said that he did not have a soul. So, Rachel, there's a team prepping Biden for a soft approach and then another team prepping Biden yeah. for a harder approach. Yeah, sources tell us, Diane, that there's really two camps right now inside of the White House. One camp that really wants him to take a more mild and softer approach when it comes to this relationship with Russia. And then there's another camp of advisors that really wants Pres uh, President Biden to really take a really strong approach uh, to this meeting. And so it remains to be seen which approach the president will try to do. Maybe we'll, he'll try to level between the two of those. But we know that the White House wants three clear things out of this. We're learning that they want to talk about areas in which they can work together. They we also want to talk about uh, America's national interests and also express the president's vision for America. But still, the expectations on this are very low, even though it is a high stakes meeting. The president himself even saying yesterday that President Putin is tough and that he is a smart and worthy adversary. And, and Rachel, we've also known going into this that cyber attacks, election meddling, those were likely topics. But now we're hearing they might also discuss a prisoner swap. Yeah, and this was really put forward by Russian President Vladimir Putin. He came forward and tried to do some negotiating in public. He said that he'd be willing to hand over cyber criminals if the United States did the same. The president was pressed on this in a press conference. He called it essentially progress uh, that President Putin was presenting this idea. But a White House official told us that that is off the table. President Putin also raising the idea of a prisoner swap. Unclear where the White House really stands on that in this moment. We know that there are at least uh, two uh, American prisoners right now detained in Russia and two former Marines that the president does plan to bring up tomorrow in his meeting with Russian President Putin. Uh, but it remains to see whether or not the White House is going to get on board with the idea of a prisoner swap at this time, Diane. So what's Putin hoping to get out of this meeting? Yeah, you know, it, it's really interesting, Diane, because a lot of critics point to the fact that by President Biden holding this meeting with President Putin kind of puts him on the world stage, in fact. President Biden is getting a lot of heat for that from some of his critics. I think President Putin is, is going to convey a very strong stance on how Russia feels. Uh, he has Russia's best interests in mind as well. And judging by how he's been publicly negotiating, uh, clearly he's going into this wanting to maybe exchange prisoners or maybe exchange cyber criminals as well, Diane. All right, Rachel Scott, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.